Changes made by women in the 19th century created the opportunity for women in the 20th century to continue improving women's rights. While women in the 1800s were fighting for basic rights such as being able to own property, women in the 1900s worked to give women rights like having equal jobs and pay as men. Lucretia Ma and Sarah Weddington are two women who spent their whole lives helping improve women's rights. Lucretia Ma was born on January 3rd, 1793 and passed away on November 11th, 1880. She worked on abolitionism and women's rights, though she herself was not granted the full rights of citizenship. Sarah Weddington was born in Abilene, Texas in 1945. Sarah Weddington served as an attorney, legislator, presidential advisor, professor, and an expert called upon by the national media on women's rights. On her honeymoon with her husband, James Mott, she met Elizabeth Cady Stanton. Working together, the two women decided to focus on women's rights. During this period in the 19th century, women could not vote or sit on juries. In most states, they could only own property if they were single and could secure the guardianship of a man. Married women were subject totally to their husbands, who were per permitted, with rare exceptions, to beat their wives, and husbands were entitled to all the money that their wives earned. They both shared their outrage, and as Mott said, if our principles are right, why should we be cowards? Stanton and Mott joined with Mary Ann McClintock, Jane Hunt, and Martha C. Wright to call the first Women's Right Convention. On July 14, 1848, they issued a Declaration of Sentiments, which was modeled after the Declaration of Independence. This document listed 18 grievances women had with the American tradition and law. However, it mainly declared that men and women are created equal. Just before the Seneca Falls Convention, Mott and Stanton had gotten approval for the New York Married Women's Property Act, which gave married women the right to their own property. The Roe vs. Wade case was about giving women the right to have an abortion if they chose to. Sarah Weddington fought in this case in the Supreme Court at the young age of 26. She believed that the right was not something the government should have control of. Rather, women should be able to have control over their own choices. After the case, she said she didn't know if, they had, if she had won. When she worked in the Texas government, she said, women made a lot of progress in Texas law. The legislature was sponsored by women, but men passed it. We have to rely on a majority of men to help us. We had to be able to work with them. A lot of men had never dealt with women on a professional basis before. However, Weddington used her education and natural speaking abilities to help changes and help women's rights. Lucretia Mott helped create the Equal Rights Amendment, which allowed no right to be denied or abridged because of someone's gender. This change allowed women, such as Sarah Weddington, to have the power to change women's rights even more. Sarah Weddington argued and won one of the most known cases, the Roe v. Wade case, which makes it legal for women to have abortions. This gave them the power to make their own choices, which is what Mott was originally fighting for. Mott fought for basic rights for women, while Weddington fought for smaller details that make women entirely equal to men.